Hello everybody and welcome back to the Laser Makers Realm. I'm Patrick with Light Source Engraving and today we have a fun little project We're going to make something useful for your shop to help your honeycomb bed hold stuff in place. We're going to cut it out of plywood today. You could cut it out of acrylic as well, whatever you choose. So that being said, let's get right into it and see what we're going to make. Okay, we are in light burn and we have our little honeycomb holders laid out here. I have four versions. So we have six millimeter and four millimeter. This refers to the space underneath the little arm. Six millimeters under this one, four millimeters under this one. So if you need a little more clearance for whatever reason if you have a cutout area of a piece of wood and you need to hold it down from inside then it will provide some clearance these should fit on any standard honeycomb beds uh, there's a wide version so it has wide prongs then we have a narrow prong if your honeycomb bed weave is a little tighter and then I have a tall version you can see here from the yeah, toolpath that it is taller so it will accommodate for thicker material. These I have used with 3mm, 4mm, 5mm with no problem. Um, 6 is no problem. If you have something taller you find that these work better. Here are the tall versions for you. So you'll have more area between what would be the honeycomb where this will stop at this insertion point and the little arm that's holding your material down. And I think that's approximately six millimeters. Uh, yeah, 6.6. .6. So it gives you an extra six millimeters. So these are the little honeycomb holders. They're quick to cut out, easy to make, use plywood. It's stronger than solid wood for something this thin. I've cut them out of three millimeter walnut plywood and some four millimeter plywood and they seem to hold up pretty well. But in the event you snap one off, they're super easy and cheap to replace. Um, so you can cut out 20 of them in five minutes and be ready to go. So we're going to do a quick burn and cut and see how they turn out. I'm sure you all know that's a common problem with most plywood. It wants to warp on you and never wants to lay flat. So these are very handy. You can orient them any way across that honeycomb sideways back and forth made them long enough so if you end up hitting a support pole like right there one of the support bars that you can move it around and adjust it and place them where you need them all right so let's do a quick engrave of the markings and then I'll fast forward so we can get through this in a reasonable amount of time now I do want to point out another reason I made the four millimeter version is to give more clearance for your nozzle so if you have a closer focal length for your lens you're using that'll give you two extra millimeters so the nozzle can slide over those without hitting them if necessary so I hope you've enjoyed this quick little tutorial today and our little bundle of joy here in my hands anyway these are fun to make they're super useful super easy and super tiny look like a pair of mini calipers very many so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the file please leave a comment if you would like to see another size added to this project i'd be happy to do that if you have any other ideas for possible tools and uh, lasering accessories 
please let me know in the comments and see if I can work something up and get something in a video for you and make a file because that's what we're all about here we learn we make and then we repeat at the laser makers realm check the description of the video I'll have links to my YouTube channel links to my website and Facebook and everything else will be in there um, that is it that's all I have for today thanks for watching this quick video and I hope you enjoy the tools Thanks again and have a great day.